Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Over the past few weeks, this devotion series has been about finding peace, what it looks like to seek the peace that surpasses all understanding. Well, if you've turned on the news, or you've seen what's going on in our country, or you've just been alive in the past few months, you know that peace is really hard to find right now. But I think what we often make the mistake of is that we think that peace means no disturbances. It means tranquility. It means no war. It means this calm inner state of mind. But that is not the peace that scripture offers us. The peace that scripture offers us means something completely different. In fact, in both the Hebrew and the Greek, the word peace means to be set right with oneself or to be made whole. Now, if you look at our country, we don't seem very whole right now. And if you look at the lives of Black Americans who are hurting and who are asking for their voices and their lives to matter, they're not feeling whole either. And as Jesus followers, as Christians, Paul tells us so clearly how we are supposed to react when one of our brothers and sisters in Christ is in need. And when the body of Christ isn't whole, I'm going to read this straight from 1 Corinthians because he says it so perfectly. The inspired word of God, he says in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 25, there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. Let me read that one more time. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. Right now, in our country, our fellow Black brothers and sisters in Christ are suffering and asking for their voices to be heard, to be acknowledged, and for change to happen. If they are suffering, so are we. And as Christians, it is our job to ask, what does love require of me in this moment? Jesus was the perfect example of love, one that we could never hope to live up to, but we strive to live up to. Jesus went into the homes and sat at the dinner table with people that pe nobody thought he should. He invited women to his table. He invited tax collectors. He invited Samaritans, and he loved them with everything he had. He told the parable of the Good Samaritan, of a man who was wounded and injured on the side of the road, and person after person walked by them. The religious leaders walked by them, but one stopped and picked him up. That was the neighbor. Are we as Christians stopping and helping our black neighbors who are hurting right now? Now we know Jesus loves everyone and we know that all lives do matter. There is no question of that. But if you were to fall down and scrape your knee, would you want someone to come out and to say, well, I've scraped my knee before too. Doesn't, doesn't my knee matter? Of course your knee matters. But instead, no, you would scoop down and you would sit next to them and say, tell me what happened. Let me go get you a Band-Aid and help you back up. Are we helping up our brothers and sisters Christ? Are we doing what Paul said and saying that if one part of our body suffers, we all suffer with it? Are we doing what love requires of us? Because Jesus asks us to lead with love. He asks us to love our neighbor as ourselves. And right now, our black brothers and sisters in Christ need our help. They need our support. They need our love and they need our voices. Because when we love them, Paul goes on to say in the last verse, if one part of the body is honored, every part rejoices with it. And I look forward to the day when we all stand together and we can rejoice that all voices are being heard. But that won't happen until we are listening to the voices that aren't. This week isn't about politics. This isn't about Republican or Democrat. This is about doing what Jesus asks of us, leading with love, praying boldly, listening humbly, and asking, what does love require of us? Will you pray with me? 
Jesus, we pray for your peace. Your peace offers a wholeness. And Lord, it is our job to lead with love and to create a wholeness in this country again and to make sure that our black brothers and sisters in Christ are being picked up off the side of the road and loved. Help us to be that light. Help us to be that voice and help us to make sure that their lives matter. We love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me.